Tom Holland, aka Mr. PR himself, has been very coy and vague in regards to everything he says because he's been trained. Now he talks a little bit about the rumors of Charlie Cox's Daredevil, potential crossovers, and reacts to Daredevil, the TV series. Well, some of it at least. Tom Holland has been making the rounds doing press stuff for Spider-Man No Way Home. Naturally, people are going to ask him about everything that's been rumored, and of course, some of the leaks out there, and some of the bigger rumors for what happens down the road. Now, while he's done a pretty good job of avoiding pretty much everything, it looks like he's been given the go-ahead and the okay to acknowledge Daredevil, aka Charlie Cox. And he says that first and foremost, he loved Daredevil. He loved what Charlie Cox did in that role. He loved what Vincent D'Onofrio did as Kingpin, aka Wilson Fisk, and that he loved seeing the darker side of Marvel. The hallway sequence specifically, something that's more grounded and brutal. He did say that he has not watched all of it, but he loves what he's seen so far and he's seen the entirety of season one. And then he responded to the rumors of what happens next, a potential crossover and everything. And he kind of gives you the PR answer you expect where he doesn't confirm it, but he hints towards it and teases it. And at this point, we all know. I mean, it's not a spoiler. I don't have to put up a spoiler warning that he's in no way home because, look, it's officially been literally like they wink, nod tease and laugh at it when Kevin Feige and Amy Pascal were asked about Charlie Cox. So it's happening. But it's interesting that also nobody's denying future crossovers and things like that, which makes me think that if they can continue this relationship, you might realistically get a Daredevil and Spider-Man crossover film or something, or at least a sequence where the two are teaming up in the streets in New York just beating up bad guys. And it's like, yeah, that's cool. That's like the comics. So it doesn't seem out of the question, and Tom Holland doesn't deny it either, which, again, just makes me think down the road, you're going to see things like this that, uh, you know, make you feel like the Marvel-Sony relationship is sort of more connected, like the MCU itself, instead of just, hey, we can partition this over here, and Spider-Man can be acknowledged, and there's a few references here, but outside of what Sony controls, you can't, which that's largely been what it's about, which always feels like a little bit of a disconnect, which is kind of like how we felt back in the uh, Universal owning the Hulk days. And now it's like, eh, it's freeform, you can do whatever. But before it was like, we can't really mention the Incredible Hulk right now just because of a uh, legality and, you know, the rights that were over there. So overall, it's looking pretty promising. It sounds promising. I mean, there's definitely teases. They're acknowledging one another. It's one of these things where inevitably we're going to get something. Who knows when, who knows in what project, but it seems almost like a guarantee at this point. And if Sony was willing to pony up the money to buy out Daredevil earlier than the contract, that means that they're probably interested in doing something. So who knows what the future holds, but hey, a future with Daredevil is a future worth, I was gonna say fighting for, but that doesn't make sense. Is a future worth investing in? That'll probably work. <laughs>